Hello everyone, it is the Saturday before New Year's Eve, New Year's rather. We're almost here y'all. I want to show you something quick that um, I do for myself and my family uh, right before the New Year's. You know how you clean out your refrigerator and your freezer with everything you have? Well, I pulled out my meats that I'm getting ready to cook for New Year's, Lord willing. But I also took out things that I have frozen, you know, from Thanksgiving and even Christmas a few days ago. And I'm going to show you so we can pull that out. Check it out. Now, these are the foods that I'm going to be cooking for New Year's Day, Lord willing. I'm going to be cooking some uh, fried chicken, and these are thighs. I'm going to be using the smoked hog maw to cook my greens and some of the pot liquor to uh, cook my cabbages. Smoked, uh, let me get it right, smoked turkey necks. Okay, mm, mm, mm. and then I'm, I'm going to be making some uh, pig feet. I also had bought some chitterlings or chitlins as we say, but once I opened my package of chitlins to throw them out today, I noticed a faint smell, so I'm going to take those back. So, But I do have a uh, pack of uh, chitlins that I'm going to cook. I'm going to take these back and get a fresh pack. Okay, so these are my meats that I've already taken out. You know to get them ready for cooking for starting tomorrow any of my meats that I need to brine or seasoning season I'll go ahead and do those later this afternoon because this is early on Saturday so like I said uh, the my chitlins that I took out and they didn't smell too good to me I'm going to take those back, and then the rest of my meat, I'll thaw it out. Anything needs to be seasoning or brined, I'll get that into the brine today. Now, I'm going to show you my leftovers. These are leftover brownies that I had over for Christmas. Well, I'm not going to open them. Let me not do that. I wrap them in uh, paper and inside here, too. These brownies are huge. They taste like a German chocolate cake. So I'm actually going to take these brownies and turn them into like a German chocolate dessert since they taste like that. Mm -mm -mm. So I've already got those thawing out. Let those thaw in the refrigerator too. Got a tiny container of macaroni and cheese, but there's something special I'm going to do with that. I'll show you a video later. I've got my whip topping because I'm going to make a um, banana pudding. I'll show you that video too, but this has come out of the freezer. Now going into the refrigerator to just thaw, be nice and creamy. I'm going to cook a fresh cabbage, which I already have prepared uh, right now. But also I have some um, turnip greens left over. So I'm going to cook those fresh cabbages that I have prepared in my vegetable tray. But I love greens and want some more greens too. And that's supposed to be for your money on New Year's. So I'm going to cook my fresh greens. I mean, I'm sorry, cook my fresh cabbages. And then add these greens that I have frozen from Thanksgiving with it. This is some fresh uh, dressing left over. Yes, fresh chicken and dressing, so I don't have to have another whole pan. Actually, I've got three cups of these like this. This is just one. I'm, like I said, I'm taking everything out today that's in the deep freezer that needs to thaw naturally, and I'm putting it in, into my fridge. And that's the thing. Be very careful. Like even when you deep thaw a turkey or whatever, don't just leave everything sitting out on your countertop because it can develop bacteria. It can develop a, even if it's cold in your house, like right now it's cold in our house because it's cold outside, 
it can develop a, a bacteria on the food itself so don't let any food sit out past two hours period so everything that we had we put it up you know from christmas day two days later whatever and we put it in little containers and now as you can see it froze of course perfectly i'm pulling it back out because natural bacteria can grow on the food and then you'll have you know food poison and we don't want that so anyways i've got uh, three of these this is chicken and dressing Ooh, and last but not least there it is oh my god my favorite uh green tomatilla salsa my favorite salsa with the tomatillas the jalapeno pe peppers and everything Ooh. oh my god oh lord i promise y'all the longer this sits in the freezer, the spicier it gets. And it's just the homemade tomatilla salsa, not green tomatoes now. They look like green tomatoes, but the tomatillas have on their little coats is what I call them. So get you some tomatillas, some red onion, some um, uh, jalapeno pepper, and get you some uh, parsley. Not parsley, I'm sorry, cilantro make you a good old salsa up so this is one of mine that has been in here mm, look at that fresh seasoning that we gonna have so here it is so basically it's so easy just go ahead if, if you're watching this on a saturday take out all of your meats from the freezer that you need to cook and go ahead and get prepared seasoned up whatever and then you know things for your desserts or things for your you know side dishes pull out everything else that way you've got everything thawed out naturally in the refrigerator, not sitting on your counter, and then you're ready to go. All right, everybody, get ready to go. The Lord say we make it into the new year. Let's pray for everybody, and let's just be ready, as ready as we can be, because we're natural and God is a supernatural, so let's just thank the Lord now for what he has already done for us bringing us up to this day on Saturday before New Year's because God has kept us, y'all, he's kept us from seen and unseen. He has kept us from seen and unseen. He's such a mighty God. I have to say that continuously, and I will. God is a good God. All right, be prepared. Not only be prepared, you know, making your dinner and stuff, but be prepared for the Lord's coming. God is so good. All right, I love you, everybody, and hope you have a wonderful, wonderful and upcoming blessed holiday.